where we actually only have like so far we had the freedom of choosing which uh, levels we want to go to first that was completely up to us now we have to go to the first stage and then the second one opens and then the nasty boss fight opens and then a bonus level and we can't get all of the gems right, the, right from the get-go, because some of them are actually in these dragon heads. Love the music here, too. Need a lift? No. Need a hug? That's Bear Hugger from Super Punch-Out. I don't know if we can do Rat Skip here. Uh, well, <laughs> the Rat is literally in the exact same thing. I kind of doubt it, though. So we have Nork Cove here as the first level. Let's see Delvin, Nipplet. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro, and you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands, then you can challenge the Nork himself. Mm-hmm. Now oh, let's take in the moment, actually, because this world looks fucking neato. Look at that. Hell yeah. That's some good, that's some good good. Okay, so this is the first level. Then we have a second level, normal level. We have Nasty Nork. And then some bonus stuff. Let's see. Nork. Motherfucking... And yeah, again, you can't take get all of the gems uh, from the get-go in Nasty's world because some of the gems are hidden in the little dragon heads. So they just open, obviously, once we've reached the end of the respective level. Don't have to 100% it, but obviously we will because this is what we're here for. The 120% Spyro the Dragon playthrough. E. Get wrecked. Get wrecked and don't ask any goddamn motherfucking questions. Boom. Got him. Love this world. And we also see the sunset. Definitely also cool. Um, I don't know how moddable this game actually is. Um, I've seen some people actually modding the original Spyro, like the PS1 ROMs. Which apparently is a is a extremely nightmare. I've seen every level basically getting coated in snow, which is kind of cool. Which is basically the extent to what th that mod is doing. But it's kind of cool to see, especially you know when people make make their own levels. But you know, again, maybe we get Spyro Four somewhere down the line. Maybe once this video comes up, we already have the announcement. And um, yeah, I guess at this point it's not just copium. I think it will definitely happen. Pretty, pretty optimistic about that because the thing is, like, I heard after um, after I played through um, the Reignited trilogy and um, after I've played the the insane the Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy again, which also is gonna be coming in English soon. After we're done with the Spyro games, um, I think I read like I, w I wanted to read up about um, Toys for Bob, and I just heard that they basically got demoted to. Um, to working on, what was it, like, Warzone, because they are under Activision. And that's when many people from Toys for Bob apparently left the company, because this is not what they basically joined Toys for Bob for, to be demoted to fucking making fucking Warzone content. They want to make Crash and Spiral games, and they made a Crash game, I heard. They also made Crash uh, Bandicoot, it's about time. Uh, before they made, like, the remakes here. And then obviously now they sold like 1 million or even 10 million. I'm not entirely sure what the name, what the numeric was, but they sold a good amount of copies for the Reignited Trilogy. So maybe there is a Spyro 4 on the horizon. I'm looking, looking positive. Even though like many people apparently left the company, but they still make, they, are, they still have the license. They still make Spyro and um, mostly Crash games. So that's a good, that's a good lookout. So with that little rant out of the way, let's get whoever this is. Lentif, Fetal. Fetal. 
Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Right. Uh, what are the skill points? I fucking... Okay, after this we're gonna take care of <laughs> Haunted Towers. I always forget. Okay, we're going back there. Don't worry. The thing is, like, I remember where most of the... Like, obviously, as you see, I remember where most of the secrets or skill points are, but... For this one in perpendicular... I don't really remember where the blue hat was. Like, I'm going through it in my head, but... Can't really pinpoint it. Actually, we can also just flame this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thought it would, wouldn't make it. Or would make it, actually. So we need this barrel up there to break up the, the shits. Beautiful. What the fuck hit me there? Did I hit, did I hit myself with, the own, with that own fucking barrel? Probably. You know, Jump and Run games, they love their barrels. <laughs> Can't live without them. Well, also the case in actually Crash Bandicoot where one entire level was based around that. That was a little bit... A little bit stupid. <laughs> that level in... Perpendicular. 500? 400 gems. Not getting too much bank. I think Nasty Nork himself was... I don't think there was a dragon. There was... There were like thieves, I remember that. For the keys to get to him and then probably only 100 gems a little hoarder solid last dragon thomas summit again Never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> Go on. We already saved him, though, especially a Thomas without an H. I do remember that. And Delvin also, obviously, or Deblin, right at the right at the beginning, as Spyro has obviously pointed out as well. So maybe there are more nasty norks afoot. You never know. Wait, do I have... Yeah. I do have a dispenser here. I hit myself with, the, with that... I hit myself with that barrel. Because I just get to it too fast, apparently. Not sure what that is for. We have a key. We almost have all the treasure. And I still have in my head that we have to go back to Haunted Towers. Ah, one up. Beautiful. Definitely gotta take care of this guy before we get over there. Activate both, get nothing. Sure. Yeah, I survive. Not for a lot. One for two for the price of one. Beautiful. Has anyone seen the chest? Speaking of which, like I, I don't think I have. Uh. Actually, yeah, we had like multiple, in in nu numeric terms, two ways to proceed here. Actually, so it's probably somewhere down the line there. Yeah, that's that's goddamn cheap. That also activates the TNT again. Cheap. Let's see if that's the missing ch treasure. Probably. Not quite. I'm missing five, so there could be one gem. One five value gem. Oh, wow. Okay, good. Okay. 
saved it. I didn't expect it to be instant death. Like a couple of centimeters away. Ah! The classic. So that's all dragons, all gems. You gotta believe. <clears throat> you gotta motherfucking believe. And now, fucking. Oh yeah, there are three ways. Yeah, not only two. Boy, be tripping. Um. Yeah, we go back to um. Haunted towers. Yes. On the towers <laughs> to find the blue wizard wizard head and give him a piece of our goddamn mind. Like this is goddamn outrage. Dude gotta be burned. Twenty-five? Yeah, a little bit more than that. Actually, we have Twilight Harbor. Still a better love story than Twilight. Let's go to Dreamweavers and see if we can... Actually, I think I'm gonna just cut that out because we've already seen the level. So I'm just gonna make a cut here. I'm gonna sh see you when I get the when I get to the blue hat. And then I'm gonna see you right in Twilight Harbor afterwards. But first, obviously, I'm gonna show you where, the, where that blue hat is. Soon as I saw that castle, I remembered. So we have to glide over here and that's where the blue hat is. This is extremely... Yeah, I mean, you know... If you pay atten paid attention, you definitely saw it. Um, maybe actually... Wait, yeah, this is where I was. So I think this is the highest point, basically. I just gotta try. Eventually, we're gonna make it. Ah, it works with the charge. Okay, there it is. That's a skill point. Actually, also gives you a gives you a level or a guy. Nice. So we're just gonna exit. I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna see, uh, I'm gonna see you in Twilight Harbor. Okay, that guy behaves. All right, gotcha. So with this one, just Jesus Christ, just crack crack open a Pepsi. Not sponsored, sadly, but you know, Pepsi man. Let's go. Ah, okay. Can you believe that? I was like... <clears throat> I mean, you know, a little rant incoming right here. I was like, you know, grocery shopping the other day. And, you know, pre pretty much found everything that I wanted. But I specifically noted down Pepsi. And I was like browsing through the aisle for like six minutes or something. And I couldn't find Pepsi. These guys had Pepsi like one year ago or something. And, you know, I was really craving that Pepsi for, for whatever reason. And they had everything from like discount cola that you've never heard of. You goddamn idiot, I'm on a fucking rant at the moment. They're just making it worse. Oh yeah, like they have like all the fucking off-brand shit, obviously. They have Coke, obviously. But no Pepsi. Like... But like, what, 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 what the fuck is going on with your store and or life? You know? <laughs> Can't believe this shit. The best way to... Turn sugar into a beverage is literally Pepsi. Coke's goddamn overrated. I said it and I stay by it. Jesus, okay. Got him. Alright. Okay, we have a supercharge here. Um. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember how this works. That's a little bit tough. Cosmos. Some sock. I think we already saved them already. Thank you for rescuing me. Possibly again. The fuck was he aiming <laughs> for? I was on this side he aimed here for some reason. So these guys in the original one they literally were blasting bullets. Uh, for this one they changed it to some Splatoon kind of stuff. I mean, many people were like, oh, you know, I don't like that. It's like, no, no. But who in the... Okay. But who in the hell cared? Or cared? Cares. Still good. Obviously, it's a little bit more menacing when they actually have a fucking submachine gun and Vulcan Raven-like minigun uh, blasting at your, at, your, at your ass. But I don't mind it. 
Now I don't mind it, they changed it. So we're gonna go... wait. Sir, do we get anything from charging down? I think actually if I don't... I think... Wait, hold on. Let me get the... Let me... Let me let me heighten the, the drawbridge here. Which doesn't work by ramming into it. <clears throat> I think this is actually easier when the when the drawbridge is open. I mean, we also get up get access to upstairs. For one. Nope, that doesn't work. Well, could. But I guess it's easier to get to the chest when the drawbridge is down. Oh, we can farm lives easily here. Okay, let's get to it. Max speed, max speed, max speed! Mm. Okay. We were so goddamn fast and obliterated that chest so goddamn fast. We were faster than light, basically. That that treasure didn't even know that it was already gone. That was like a thousand cuts. <laughs> we had some visual box here in Spiral, but not many. But that was one of them, and that was the coolest one, I think. So how much of a badass and how goddamn fast Spyro can actually get. And I don't know if you actually get that visual in uh, original Spyro. Wait, wasn't there? I think there was like an... Was there an achievement here for some... No, I know what the, what the achievement was. Like the Steam achievement. And me dying here doesn't even invalidate what I just said because that is still a thing. You... Uh, there, are, there are some gears here. That you have to uh, find and destroy. I'm gonna show you how that one looks, which I think. Not sure if, if one was up there. Mm. I mean, I got the I got the Steve uh, uh, Steve, ah, huh? the Steve achievement. Oh wait, there are. A treasure. Look at that. But yeah, I got a steam achievement, but um, I didn't get it on this on this particular save file. Ah, there, there they are. That's how they look. I don't know how many there are actually, but you just basically get over and then flame them, and then just destroy every single one. Um, so where were the treasures though? There it is. Uh, there's also a gear. Right there. Oh, look at that. I would've... Would've missed it if I wouldn't've... Randomly looked for the gear. One more for the good guys. Alright, I guess that's up ahead. Am I actually farming lives here with those... Uh, two rats at the draw bitch bridge? Because they spawn extremely fast. It's kind of easy. And it's always 2 a.m. They come in packs, they come strapped. Cletus, Sutilk. Be on the lookout for no commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Again, you tell me that when I'm almost completely... Okay, when I'm almost completely done with the level or already. Sometimes I really question how... Sometimes I really question how they, you know, place those dragons. Kinda weird. Worst example is in Dark Hollow. <clears throat> okay, these guys are... What the fuck? And I have splash damage up the wazoo? Jesus Christ, this fucking barrel. Man! Getting goddamn all fucking crazy up in this. Jesus. Hitbox. Okay, that should have hit, but it didn't, and I'm kind of glad. Because <laughs> that was death, because I don't have a sparks at the moment. Speaking of, you don't need to farm lives, you know. Mm. 
Ooh. Ooh. Good. That's free. Sort of. Okay. Is it? I don't know if they home in on you. Okay, if you go to the right hand side, if they also, you know, scooch a little bit more to the right. I don't think they'd be like that. So I think we missed some. It seems. Abso motherfucking Lutenberg. Do we have all dragons? We do. So we're just... Okay. Yeah. I pressed L3 for to see, you know, where the rest of the gems are, but... Obviously we don't have a sparks at the moment, but we can change that rather fast. There's another gear. It's always like this, when you go when you go back through the level, you mostly see the gears, because they are usually on places where you don't really see them right away. They always respawn extremely fast, but now they don't. Actually, I think we have some gems up there. Oh wait, maybe I should make sure that the drawbridge is up. Drawbridge is up. Wait, do I have something up here? Nope. Check like left and right, but... Ah, there's something. Yep, that's all of them. Got him! Wait, let me see if the rats respawned here. They always respawn so fast, and now they don't. Now when I need it. Like, I didn't need it before, so I just farmed some lives. One, I think. And now they don't respawn. Why? What the fuck? There's some... Naughty... Uh, naughty dog, what the f Naughty perro, yeah. Fucking... Toys for perro? <laughs> toys for Bob. Toys for the flag keeper in... Um... What was it? I don't know the, the English name of the stage in Spyro 2. But yeah, you know, Flag Keeper Bob. Toys for that guy. Where the rats where, where the rats going? Jesus Christ. 